Welcome to Gundagai. That's right, Gundagai, G-U-N-D-A-G-A-I, here on the way to Melbourne from the Blue Mountains. And a good friend of mine, Carlo, he said, you gotta stop in Gundagai and see the uh, dog on the tucker box. I said, dog on the what? And he said, dog on the tucker box. I said, tackle box? He said, no, tucker box. It's like a, like a lunch box. He said, it'd make a good YouTube video. So here I am in Gundigai on my way to Melbourne. And I thought, why not stop and see this, this dog on a, on a tucker box, which I guess is a, uh, a lunch box. And just up ahead, I see a sign that says uh, food and souvenirs car parks uh, and and there's a building there that says welcome to Gundagai so that's what we're gonna do we're gonna go check out this uh, dog on a tinderbox statue should be uh, <laughs> should be interesting on my way up to the information center there is this well it's a it's a ruin it's a historic ruin and I'm sure that there's a story behind it but I thought I would stop and share it with you. It must have been some type of a of a settlement building. And just up here you have a a wagon and looks like a rather large wagon, I must say. And let's uh take a look at this real quick. Look at that. That's something. Wow, what a what a relic that is. Look at the, the underside here. There's your brake right there. All right. And then over here is the Joseph, well, it tells you what it is. Joseph Carberry's Inn. These are the ruins of an inn that was built by Joseph and Rosanna Carberry in 1857 and opened by them as the Limestone Inn in April 1958. Consisted of 12 rooms with a cellar at the southern end, a detached kitchen, a storeroom, stables, and other outbuildings, all of them built of stone. The Carberrys erected the indicator to the passing trade on the main road between Sydney and Melbourne, but it also attracted much local custom, largely because because of Roseanne Carberry's fine piano playing. Look at that. All right, let's see if we can't go find the uh, find the the dog on the on the Tucker box. And here would be a board with some information about Gundagai and the story of the dog on the Tucker box. It's part of an Australia's early folklore. Its origins lie firmly in the early pioneers who forged their way into the Australian bush. In the early days, the area was serviced by bullock teams. With rough tracks, river crossings, floods, and extreme weather, many bullock teams became stranded or bogged. Often on such occasions, the bullockies dog would sit guarding its master's tucker box and possessions while he was away seeking help. The legend of the dog in the tucker, bo tucker box was captured, captured the imagination of Australians throughout the colony. Spread by word of mouth, several versions of the story evolved over time, changing to suit the audience. The story was further embellished in later versions with the bullocky having died and the dog pining away on the tucker box, awaiting its master's return. Bullockies meet at campsites and crossings, such as Mutama Creek near Gundagai, often sat around the fire in the evening sharing these stories, poems, and songs. Bo Young York penned his version of the story in a poem in 1857, but the verse was amended some later. So there it is. That's the, uh, that is the story of the dog on the tucker box. Let's go check this, uh, this statue out. And there you would have the dog on the tucker box. To commemorate the 50th anniversary, the dog on the tucker box unveiled by His Excellency Air Marshal Sir James Rowland on 28th November 1982. Look at that. There is the dog on the tucker box, folks. And that's something. Alright, I'm sure that 
you know, to a lot of Australians, this would be a nice, uh, well, it'd be a nice video for anybody regardless. You know, the story of, for all dog lovers, lovers I would think, the story of the dog on the, on the Tucker box. There he is. All right, let's go check out the uh, little information center here. And as you can see, welcome to Gundagai. And they've got, what, a horse and a cow, a kangaroo, a sheep, and a, and a chicken, and some birds. And uh, it says, we are a small business supporting local producers. Come in and see our honey, and jam, sauces, and etc. Now, my good friend Carla was telling me that I really need to get myself a pie. You know, a pie. And I said, what kind of pie? An apple pie? He said, no, 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 no. I said, a lemon meringue pie? He said, no, and absolutely not. And I said, don't tell me a rhubarb pie. I said, I don't want to get a, uh, I don't want to get a rhubarb pie. And he said, no, you got to get yourself a meat pie. He said, if you're in Gundagai, you got to see the dog on the, oh, I forget what they call it. Yeah, the, the Tucker box, the dog on the Tucker box. You got to see the dog on the Tucker box and you got to get yourself a pie. So you look at this, you can, you can even take the dog on the Tucker box home if you want. Isn't that something? All types of little, little souvenirs here. Shock glasses. You can get all kinds of nice little souvenirs. Now here are their, these are their jams if you want to pick yourself up some of their local products. Look at this, Gundagai Gold Honey. Isn't that something? You can get some Crowley's Hot Sauce. Fantastic. And over here you can get some Papa's, Papa's Jams. What kind do they got here? Oh, they got strawberry. I see strawberry. I see Papa's, Papa's Fig Jam. There's some Cherry Jam. You can get yourself some ju cherry juice. You know, I've heard a lot about this part of Australia, and it is uh, every bit what I was told. It's just really, really a nice, nice place. So we'll come on over here. And hopefully, if I'm lucky, hopefully they're going to have a... Uh, oh, who is this? Hopefully... I was told that I should ask you to see if you have... What's your name? Mel. Mel? Mm -hmm. Like Mel's Diner? Melissa. Melissa. <laughs> I see Melissa, yes. Melissa, a friend of mine, Carlo, yeah. in Melbourne. Give a shout out. Hi, Carlo. Carlo said, I got to get myself a pie. And I said, an apple pie? He said, no, not an apple pie. I said, a cherry pie? He said, no, get yourself a meat pie. Would you like one? I, I'd love a meat. Do you have any, do you have any left? Yeah, yeah, I've got one for you. Do you want tomato sauce with that? or Tomato sauce? Is it tomato sauce or tomato sauce? We say tomato. You say tomato, <laughs> I say tomato. Okay, um, no, I don't think I'll have the tomato sauce. Do you want it here or do you want it as a table? I'll have it here. Yeah, perfect. I can do that for you. Is this your place? Yeah, my sister and I are going to there. Wow, fantastic. So everybody out there coming across this video, you got to stop and, 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 and have yourself a, uh, a meat pie. Let's look at their uh, look at their rest or their their menu up there. What do they got? They got hot dogs, house made sandwiches, toasties, Kranks, Kransky rolls, uh, bacon and egg roll, bacon and egg toast. Well, you got it all. You just have it all. All right. So I'm gonna I'm gonna enjoy my uh, my meat pie here. What else do they have? House made scones. Look at some of this good stuff. Ooh, that's fantastic. Size. Throw in for you an biscuit. Very you're gonna you're gonna throw in what? An Anzac biscuit. Wow. It's very Australian. So that way. Very Australian. How do you uh, how do you pronounce it? Anzac. Anzac? Yeah. A N Z A C. That's like the Australian New Zealand. New Zealand? Yes. So that's an Anzac biscuit. Correct, it is. Now tell me, is it a is it a secret recipe? Yes, our secret recipe. No, <laughs> we uh, do our own version of it. Yeah. Oh, fantastic! Yeah. All right, so I'm gonna I'm gonna settle down and have myself a nice uh, a nice lunch, and then I'm going to um, what's the next big city? It's. Uh, are you going out to Wagga Wagga, or are you going further out to Albury towards Melbourne? You'd be going to Melbourne. Well, I'm, no, I'm going to um. Oh, what's the? It's the city. It begins with an A, I think. 
Yeah, yeah something like that. Like All right, sounds good. All right, so let me uh, settle up and then I'll have the uh, have my lunch. All right, let's taste this. Uh, <laughs> let's taste this pie. This is a uh, it's a beef pie, and I'm gonna I'm gonna eat it like this. I probably should use a fork, but uh, that wouldn't make a good video. Mm. Mmm. You know how the saying goes. That's good. Mmm. That's really, really good. Boy, that's good. You gotta stop. You gotta stop and see the dog on the Tucker box and get yourself a pie. Mmm. That's really delicious. All right, folks. Anyway, I gotta get on with the trip. I, I, have, I have a destination to reach tonight. So anyway, take, uh, take good care, all right? See you later.